Hi guys, welcome to Leicester Fan TV. Hope you're well. Um, a big game tonight. Um, hope you enjoyed the background music. Um, I am here, don't worry. I just had a few technical issues that I had to sort out before coming on. Um, hope you guys are well tonight. Um, Leicester City take on Rennes in the UEFA Europa Conference League um, last 16. Can Leicester City make it through? What was your band playing music? Well, I'm, I haven't got really good taste in music. Um, I just um, chose one um, to play. Why? You guys was on hold. Um, as always, we're going to talk back at the Leeds game leading up to this one. We're going to talk injuries. We're going to talk Wesley for Fauna. He's um, signed a new contract. We're going to talk about that. How good does that feel? Um, we're going to look ahead to the Rens game. We're going to talk about who are Rens. Who are the French outfit? We'll find out. I will tell you who they are. Um, guys, as always, smash a like if you're watching on Facebook. Smash a like if you're watching on YouTube for me, please. Get your comments in. Get your views in. We want to know everything. Are you going to the game? Are you going next week to the away game? Let me know. Get it in the comments. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, wherever you can find us at Leicester Fan TV. Please go and drop us a follow. It'd be really much appreciated. Um, and I will get your guys' comments on screen. Um, so, guys, one thing to do then. Let's get cracking, shall we? And I will see you in just a tick. Welcome to Leicester Fan TV. Are you ready for the show? Thanks to our sponsors, ADT Taxis, Everards, Pucka Pies, Pink Car Leasing, Leicester Riders, Hologram, The Fox's Arms, Peter's Pizzeria, Hope Against Cancer, and Newbie and Co Estate Agents. We want your views, we want your comments, so join us live. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hi guys, welcome to Leicester Fan TV. If you're just joining me, Leicester City take on Rennes in the away for Europe Conference League. Um, as I say, please smash a like, please share, please subscribe to Leicester Fan TV if you're new watching tonight as always. We want your views, we want your comments, get involved. Um, we're going to talk about the Leeds game, building up to this one. Um, we're going to talk about your man of the match. We're going to talk about everything. We're going to talk about injury news, team news, Wesley Fofana's new contract. We're going to talk about a potential new coach coming in at Leicester City Football Club. You guys will either love him or hate him. Well, if you're a Celtic fan, you'll love him. I'm not sure, too sure about Leicester fans, what they feel. But we will get on to that. Um, Let's get a few good evenings in then. Carmen, hello. Rebecca, evening. Evening, Maz. Evening, Derek. Evening, all. Oh. I can buy a hat trick. Well, shout out. Shane Lawler. Yes. Jack, was that your band playing in the, playing the music? Well, I'm a one-man band tonight. I haven't got the boys with me. Um, we will get on to Mr. Brown. Shortly, Scott Brown, that is the Celtic legend, the nine times captain. <laughs> did you get to see Big Dan on Saturday? I did. Um, just means we get more money for when for Fauna is sold. Lewis, hello, Daco and Nacho need to step up. They do. Good evening, fearless fox. Hopefully, Leicester City will be fearless foxes tomorrow. When we take the game to Rene's, um, sounds like mayonnaise, doesn't it? Stad mayonnaise. No, I'm joking. Stad Rene's, um, whichever way you want to put it. Four quality players needed in the summer. Two centre-backs, one midfielder and one striker. Pulsing about for Fauna. Good evening, Jack. 
Good evening, the LCFC 22. Evening, Plonko. Stick it up your rear end, Nottingham Forest. Bonjour, je m'appelle Jacques. Bonjour, uh, Andy Midhurst. Hello, Amanda. Evening, Harry. Hope you're well. Cool. Had a worry that Vardy may not get back to his old self. Looks like it's coming true. Well, this is it. Okay, Jack, your opinion about the injuries. Is it just a case of too many games too quickly or is it more deep-rooted? JZ out for nearly nine months and then the three games in seven games, three games in seven days. Doesn't strike me as best player welfare management. Well, Mr. Robbie Gamble, I'm going to get on to that because Vestergaard is the media critic. The real critics are the medical team. We have had so many injuries over the last two and a half, two and a half years now. Surely there's something deep rooted into this medical situation at Leicester City Football Club because that doesn't happen to any club. Not like that. I mean, we're getting more people injuries wise than what the Royal Infirmary are getting. I mean, you might as well call it the Royal Royal Infirmary training ground, did it? Do you know what I mean? It's Dennis Seagrave. Um, it's, it's one of them. I mean, I think it's deep-rooted. The medical staff clearly aren't good enough. Um, Dave Rennie left. And then all of a sudden, all these injuries, game after game, they come back. They're out again. It's mad. It is crazy. But what are your thoughts on it, guys? Who is to blame with this situation in these last two and a half years regarding this injury situation? We missed out on two top four finishes with this injury situation. We've not been the greatest in getting it. We haven't had a full 11 this season. We haven't had a normal back four this season. Johnny Evans is still struggling with a foot injury. Um. It's crazy. Vardy's come back for two games, Burnley and Leeds. He's back out in the Royal again. I mean, what's happening, guys, behind the scenes? I really want to know because this, we're in a sticky patch. It's getting really sticky and we're stuck. I mean, this should have been changed, but... The same thing with Fafana. Should have been back. Isn't why COVID comes along. Takes him away for a bit. It is madness. Brendan Rogers said Ricky P was going to be back for this game. Ricky P isn't. I mean, what more do we want, Leicester fans? It's like our oh, season is crumbling right before our eyes. Um, two competitions left. One is Europe Conference. And the other is stopping Arsenal getting top four. Well, we've got the Gunners on Sunday at half four. Um, it's going to be an interesting game. No IRA sympathiser in our club. We need a left-footed winger, not a striker. He, Jack, Yao, Ya, T, Un, Bussin, Du, Francophone. If I understood French and I understood Claude Powell, I'd, I'd understand what you're on about, Elijah, but... For me, Fran French was French French France was never the best topic at school, to be honest. Um Tesla learning to words with like different languages. Um something we had to get used to. I remember going to Italy to Rome and I had to learn the Italian language in that and you know, apparently um we talked too quick. Um but then this is it. Um Let's hope that we can keep up the winning streak. Two wins out of two. The injury team are injured themselves at this point. <laughs> Agreed, mate. Uh, maybe the gra the grave. Is C grave is a curse. Well, you tell me, Ivan Smith. Have you seen any proof of these injuries? Yes, I have. Brendan Rodgers' press conference today. Leeds have appalling injuries. They do. But ours has been going on longer than that. It's 
been two and a half years, like I said. A lot of things have happened. Ditching Dave Rennie and his team that were leaders in sports science and replaced by failed Scottish doctors. Blame Rogers. Well, too many hot tubs and saunas at Seagrave messing with the players' joints and muscles. Well, this is it. Um, medical team has been a shambles this season. Something surely will change in the off-season. Well, Brendan Rodgers hired them. And look what's happening. He's been out so long, I thought Johnny Evans had left the club. How many times have we fielded our best 11 in the last three years? Not many, I guess. Exactly. How many times have we actually fielded a very strong Leicester City side 11? What we could actually be proud of and think, you know what, we can go win games with it. We can't. We're looking over our shoulders, in it, and we're we're dropping points because of it. Um, this is it. Um, I bet for Farner is gutted. Look like getting something minutes now. He's got COVID. Jack only speaks double Dutch. Well, that's your opinion. Hello, Mayan. I think we'll beat Rens. Uh, just, but not no way Arsenal. Arsenal are on a bit of run, aren't they? Apparently, they're on a 10-game streak, I believe. Uh, players are not eating enough chips. Did you see Tillemans maybe thinking of staying after seeing the plans for the summer? Don't know if it's true or not. Well, you only read into it what you want to. Um, for me, I, I don't believe any of that. Um Maybe the injuries of this game last Sunday, and this is why it's the important. Need a haircut, pal. Do you know what, Reedy? I'm in need of one. I'll come to pizzas, pizzas tomorrow with a uh, bubble hat on because I'll be bold. Um, it's cold outside. Um, you know, it's going to be a freezing one tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, I will be getting my haircut at some point. Um, Hi, Jack. How are you doing? Mine the Silver Fox. Yes, I'm fine. I had an headache the other day, but still went to work. What's up then, Andy? Wondering why Brendan Rodgers has got too many injuries in this team. Is that what is that what's giving you a headache? Or when is the next player going to be injured and out the door? Or when they're going to be coming back and they're getting injured again? Is that what we're all thinking about? It's giving us a headache, isn't it? Or is it the case of this one? Neil Birchinoff. Dakar or Nacho up front on their own is proven not to work. Suggest we try and change the shape to accommodate both. I agree with you, Neil Birchinoff. I've been saying it for a very long time now since Jamie Vardy's been out. We need to play two up front. If we don't play two up front, we're not attacking enough. We're not scoring enough goals. We need to sit there and go and take battle to these teams. Fight fire with fire. Not let teams come at us. We need to go at them. We need to go and fight them for the points. Not just roll over because one striker doesn't work. You see Daka offside or in a more different position than you do with scoring goals. Why is that? Because he's not used to one up front. With Daka, you've got to play him as a two. Ian Acho, he's an hold-up sort of player. Daka will feed off that and that's something we need to do. We need to sit there, use Kel as the, how do I phrase it, the hold-up man. Feed it through Stacker, like Matty Fry and Steve Howard used to. Big Steve hold it up. Matty Fry in behind, scores goals. Maybe that should happen. Um, we should get Brody and in a few years get Madueke from PSV. Brody's coming up again. Um, that's not proof. It's just his word. People do lie. Well, if you're calling Brendan Rodgers a liar, Michael Lee, then you are calling him a liar. I'm not going to sit there and tell you off. <laughs> um, Tillerman's off to Juventus. Can't believe Fofana got COVID. I know I was well excited with his new contract and that. I want KDH to take over from Yuri. Hi, Jack. Do you think we'll sign Josh Bowler from Blackpool? No, keep championship players away from this club. We've got enough of Vestergaard. Um, Rogers is not a two-up-two 
top coach. He thinks there's no balance playing that way. Well, balance it out what you will. Vestergaard to score, 250 to 1. Come on, my Dutch giant is a Danish giant. Did you see the funeral car from Bernie, who was a Leicester City fan who passed away? I did. Um, I want to pass my deep sympathies on to Bernie. His funeral was today. Um, rest in peace, my good friend. Um, hopefully Leicester go and beat Rens for you tomorrow night. Um, disagree to a point, Neil Bersenoff. We have scored more goals apart from the current top four. I think, yeah, we have conceded more than all apart from the bottom three. Well, this is it. And maybe go for Denea this summer. He's a free agent, experienced it. Play, players for Leon. Right. If anyone wants to come on and give their views, feel free. I will send a link out for whoever wants to come and join me tonight. And come in and get your views in. I've sent a link out on YouTube and Facebook for you guys. Um, I don't even know his country. That's what he means to me. Nothing. Get out of my club. I thought he was on about a taxi service for Vestergaard. Um, Jay, um, who was your man of the match versus Leeds then? Leeds came, 18 shots. Leicester didn't have many, did they? We were worried at times that Leicester was going to concede. Kasper Schmeichel, fantastic. Proved his worth. Unstoppable against Leeds. Um, he even come out and collected the balls. That's what surprises me even more. But Leicester fans, we got that goal with Mr. Harvey Barnes. Loves a goal against the Leeds. Um, who was your man of the match against Leeds? Let me know in the comments. Was it Schmeichel? Was it Amarty? Was it KDH? Who? Let it in the comments and let me know. Casper. Uh, Casper. KDH. Phenomenal player, Mr. KDH. Um, he's proved his worth. Future Leicester City captain. Brendan Rodgers agrees. So do I. I think he's phenomenal. Um, I only say Casper Schmeichel and Kagla Siunchu. Or Keenan Jewsbury Hill has to be a Marty. Daniel Amarty, all day long class. Amarty, Daniel Amarty. We're going to have a party. Uh, man of the match against Leeds was KDH for me. Looked like a real talent with drive. It's about drive, it's about power. We stay hungry, we devour Mr. Robbie Gamble. Um, and like I say, proper talent. Leeds 19 shots, Leicester 7. It's about finishing. Well, there we go. There's my stats. Uh, Cags and Amarty. Fantastic. Uh, Daniel Amarty. Yes, he is. Um, guys, if you're enjoying the show so far, please like. If you're watching on Facebook, please share. If you're watching on YouTube, smash a like, push on the notification button. It'll tell you every time we are live. Please subscribe to Leicester Fan TV if you can, if you haven't already. Um, it'd be much appreciated, as always, by the fans, for the fans. We love getting all your opinions. Um, moving on, Celtic legend Scott Brown to take a coaching role at Leicester City Football Club. I didn't think I'd ever see the day Scott Brown at Leicester City. Oh, Timmy. Um, what are your thoughts on the Scottish international coming to Leicester City Football Club as a coach? Tell me, Leicester fans. What are your thoughts on Scott Brown? I mean, a lot of people... Um, yes, teach them to break a few legs. Well, he's a hothead, isn't he, Scott Brown? He's like a Roy Keane of the Scottish squad. Loves to upset a few people. He's a tackler. Um, we're going to get a lot of red cards. <laughs> He's got a few in his career. Uh, Brendan Rodgers will have to be a Celtic. No thanks, Celtic rejected up the Rangers. <laughs> Leeds, four shots on target. Same as Leicester. Never felt once that Leeds dominated the game to that extent. I was worried 
Um, Robbie Gamble, when they had Dan James, Rodrigo, Rafinha, they have got some pace about them, them three. Um, and the pace at times were very worrying, but we've seen it. Isn't Scott Brown a DJ? <laughs> you tell me. I mean, probably DJ in his uh, Celtic Park. Um, but yeah, Brendan Rodgers has offered him a coaching role at the football club. I ain't a fan of Scott Brown. Um, for me, um, but that's my opinion. Not many people are, to be honest. Um, let's have a look then at tomorrow's opponents. Who do you think will play alongside for Fauna next season? I think Tarkovsky. Well, it all depends if Kags leaves the football club. Should we drop Daniel Amati? No chance. Proving his worth. Is Scott Brown one of Mrs. Brown's boys? Well, you have to ask Mrs. Brown. Uh, it's one of them. Next opponents then. Leicester take on Stad Renes um, in the UEFA Europa Conference League. The French are coming to England tomorrow night to take on the Foxes at the King Power Stadium. Um, going to watch UEFA Champions League. Really go and enjoy Real Madrid versus um, Paris Saint-Germain um, or whatever you're watching, whichever game you feel. If you could sign four players next season, who would it be? Broad, it'd be one for me. Would I sign Luckman? 50-50. Um, I think we need another striker. Um, Scott Brown never played in the Premier League. What the? <laughs> it's like Colo Torre. He played for Celtic. Remember him, Scott Simpson? I stayed in the chat. Oh, thanks, mate. Um, Leicester to win the Champions League in two years. That You're saying that, not me. I'd be getting bar bar barricaded if I said that. Um... PSG, none cares about Manchester City. Exactly, Reedy. You go and enjoy Mbappe, Neymar, and Lionel Messi against the likes of Benzema, the Kroos, the Modric's. Um, let's talk about Stad Renes then. Um, they're coming to the King Power Stadium tomorrow night. Founded 10th of March, 1901. Um, manager. Bruno Genesio. Genesio. Bruno Genesio is the manager. Fourth in League One with 46 points, I believe. They've got Stad Renes. Um, top scorers Laborde, 16 goals, and Terrier, 13. This season in all competition, um, both strikers. Um, so I'd be worried to be honest because these are not someone we take light lightly. We have to take the game to these. I get people are going to say the French Ligue 1 is obviously a slow snail running league or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a PSG are going to win it every year, aren't they? Um, there's no competition in there. But then the Premier League, it's full, fast, flowing football. Leg-breaking football at times or something like that. It's a dedication league, a strong league, quick-paced. And that's exactly what Stad Renes are going to get tomorrow night at the King Power Stadium, a quick game. Um, I swear, if the Lampo starts tomorrow, we could concede double figures. Hassan, I hope not. Uh, very good. Got to be at our best. It's Nottingham Forest. You won't win tomorrow night. You won't beat Liverpool. It's as simple as that, isn't it? Mr. Robin Hood FC. Um, Doku. An excellent player as well. He scored one goal in the French Ligue 1, I believe, uh, Robbie Gamble. Um, but if you can have a look at his stats for me, that'd be great. 
Five one to Renee's. I mean, that Vestergaard at the back if it's that score. Um, they beat Tottenham Hotspurs on the way. Did Stad Renee's um, over two legs? They beat Spurs. Interesting. Very much interesting, Stad Renee's. Um, let's all laugh at Spurs. Uh, six one to Renee's. You're about to get ruined by Liverpool. Sure, best of God, man of the match. Or will he be handing out the man of the match, Scott Simpson? Will he be handing out that award? But to who, Scott Simpson? Um, sound a bit like um Jeff Stelling then talking about Chris Kamara. It's mad. Vardy is out for three to four weeks, a knee injury against Leeds. The season couldn't get worse, could it, with injuries? Jesus Christ. Um, so yeah, Vardy's out three to four weeks. He's going to miss Stad Renes over both legs. He can miss Crystal Palace, Arsenal, Brentford. But then you've got to go and get him fit over them four weeks as well. And if he ain't fit in four weeks, then he could be out till like mid-April, probably end. It's crazy, to be honest. Um, they didn't realise they didn't play the final game against Spurs. Did they not? Best of God is our best player. Well... No, you wait. Everyone wrote off Nacho and then he became top scorer. Vestergaard could could come through. Lol, they didn't play Spurs over two legs. Spurs conceded. <laughs> I swear Stad Renes did play Spurs, though, over in the um, Europe Conference League. Get George Hurst back. He's mad as back. He is. Two-week break coming up after a Brentford game. Let's just get two more Premier League wins and a few draws, then call it a day this season. Vestergaard is our best lamppost. Well, the streets say a lot. Um, word on the street is um, that he's, he lightens up the night, um, does Yannick Vestergaard. Um no Ricardo or Fafana against Rennes. Ricardo is not fit yet to play. Fafana has got COVID. Um, positive news. James Justin's back. Yes. The Leicester Cafu is back. James Madison returns. Get in there. Madison is back. Will he be back with a bang though, Leicester fans? This is it. Yeah. But the second leg wasn't played. Ah, okay. So, I could suppose got kicked out of the Europa League, Com Europe Conference League, didn't they, uh, Robbie Gamble? Should mention that too much. Spurs were kicked out because of COVID and injuries. Spurs cancelled the game due to COVID, and UEFA lobbed them out, and then they cancelled the game a week later against us. So they did. Um, so, yeah, James Madison. And James Justin return tomorrow night. Um, Tillman's on the bench, hopefully. He needs to sit down a bit and refocus. He does. Guys, please like, please share, and please subscribe to Leicester Fan TV if you're watching. It'd be a massive thank you, as always, um, if you can. Keep carrying on getting your comments in um, as we soon to wrap up the show um, team to play Stad Renes then or Stad Mayonnaise or whatever you want to call them Stad Renes, Stad Rons um, what do you want to call them we'll just stick with Stad Renes um, I know in one term it's Rens um, but yeah the team to play Rens then I don't believe the injuries it's a pack of lies, Andrew Neville's the sabotage <laughs> Casper, get jobbers drawn back. It's needed. It is. Renee's. 
James Madison, his class game changer, put your money on him netting tomorrow. Hopefully the pints at the Blues Bar have gone up with the diesel prices. <laughs> Petrol's gone up massively. It's 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 crazy. It really is. Let's get the um, team to play Stad Renes then. Schmeichel in gold. We know that. James Justin, Luke Thomas, left and right. Um, Centre of... Oh, what do I go for? I reckon it will be a Marty, Cags, Investor God. That's six players so far. Madison, KDH, and DD. And then Barnes and Pat Sundaka or Kalechi and Nacho. What are your thoughts, Leicester fans? Who would you play tomorrow? Martin Kags. I'm taking, you know, I'm going to take Vestergaard out of the team. Forget it. We're going to put Lutman in. We're going to play a 4 3 3. How does that sound? If you agree with me, smash a like. If you don't, then just put laughing faces because I've made myself look a prat. Um, the big one is then now, big predictions, score predictions. Leicester fans, score predictions. What are we going for? Let's get mine in for a quick couple of minutes um, and get his views on the team and the score predictions. Mayan, you right, how are you? I'm all right, thanks. How are you doing? I'm good, mate. Um, Mayan, Stad Renee's then. They are, I've been watching them. They like who, playing snails. Who, we, who are we going for, Mayan, in the 11 tomorrow? Who I haven't mentioned. You know you're going to like this? Go on. Michael in goal. Go on, then. Go on, then. You talk me through the team. Michael in goal, yeah. Left. Left back, Mark Hall, Brighton. Yeah. Um, Kaz. Okay, yeah. Diane Marty. Yeah, okay. And Justin. Okay, yeah. So we're going back four, yeah. Drew Beal. Yeah. Um, Tillemans. Yeah, okay. In Diddy. Yeah. Barnes. Yeah, that's nine. Yeah. Who's your other two, man? Tomorrow. Um, Inacho. Inacho. Inacho and, and Lookwood up front. <laughs> Lookwood. <laughs> that's your Lookwood. The missus said you smell expensive. What is it? We'll reply petrol. No, it's not. Well, this is it. It's well yeah, expensive. My 60th, been... ber my 60th birthday tomorrow. So if you could all sing happy birthday on the 60th minute, would be appreciated. Robbie Gamble from everyone at Leicester Fan TV. Wishing you a happy 60th birthday for tomorrow, my friend. Um, go and enjoy it. Let's hopefully get them first win on the board ahead of the second leg in Renee's. Um, hey, hey Mayo, see you in the hero. See, see you in the hero. 3-1, 6-1, Jack, and also we need, we need to, we need to look, work out if, if Mendy can play or not. Mendy can play, yes. Mendy might start, you never know. I believe Mendy can play. Maya, what's your score prediction tomorrow then, mate? Oh, you know, get clean sheet again. And who's going to be the goal scorers? Inacho and big little big mazes. Big mazes, yeah. And Vardy, I'm going to say Leicester fan TV, we need to say get well with Vardy soon, legend. We want him back. Yes. Get well right. soon. Right, mate. Thank you for coming on, mate, and giving your thoughts. And I will see you tomorrow at the game. See you tomorrow. That was amazing. Um, right, guys, score predictions then. Get them in. Right. I want to win tomorrow. I don't think we're going to keep a clean sheet. I'm sorry. I mean, toilet paper keeps more clean sheets than we do uh, when it's not used. Um, 
But for me, I think it'll be a, I think it'll be in a very hard game. Um, I'm not expecting it to be an easy game. These these guys are good. Um, I'm gonna go three one to the Foxes. Harvey Barnes, Pat Sendaka, and James Madison. Uh, for them, I'm gonna go Laborde. Um, two two cheers power attending my first game in 1969. Now travel from Norwich every game. That is commitment. Robbie Gamble, respect that. Uh, two one to the City. 3-0, Leicester to win. Come on, you Blues. Yeah. Right, guys. Thank you so much for watching tonight. You have been great. Get it. Thank you for every comment, every like, or even every share. Thank you for getting involved tonight in the show. Hopefully a win in the first leg for the Foxes tomorrow night at the King Power Stadium. If you're there, come and say hello in the Blues by Fritz Peter's Pizzas before the game. Come and say hello to us all at Leicester Fan TV. Um, come and have a chat. Um, you've been great tonight, guys. If you're going to the game, smash a like. Um, it'd be great to talk to guy, people who watch Leicester Fan TV. Um, I've been to a few games now over the last couple of couple of weeks and put names to faces, so it's great to see. Um, and it's great to have a chat with everybody. And we all love our football club. So thanks to people. Um, bye. See you tomorrow. Patrick, the Blue Fox. With all these alleged injuries, we'll struggle to win and stay in the Premier League. Well, no, we're not. We're 12 points clear. Um, so, yeah, guys, thank you for watching tonight. Um, if you could smash a like, it'd be great. If you could subscribe to Leicester Fan TV on YouTube, it'd be even more important and a massive appreciation. Um, I'm off, so I'm gonna go and watch Champions League. I'm gonna go and put my feet up. Um, and I'm gonna go and get ready for tomorrow's game. Big games, let's go and make the King Power of Fortress. This is Jack from Leicester Fan TV saying bye bye for now, and I will see you at the King Power tomorrow night. Come on, you foxes! Come on, Leicester! See you in a bit, guys. Blue Army! Thanks for watching Lester Fan TV. Thanks to our sponsors, ADT Taxis, Everards, Pucka Pies, Pink Car Leasing, Lester Riders, Hologram, The Fox's Arms, Peter's Pizzeria, Hope Against Cancer, and Newbie and Co Estate Agents. Make sure to follow us on all of our social channels at Lester Fan TV. Visit our website, LesterFanTV.com.